Hi, I'm Adam. I'm here with my friend Gus on camera at the 2018 Pacific Northwest Lens Summit in beautiful Portland, Oregon. We're gonna go meet with the biggest cinema lens manufacturers in the world, talking about vintage lenses, new technologies, and innovations for large format. Let's go check it out. And here I am chatting with Chase about the new Arri Alexa LF, which is a totally new camera and lens system. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're gonna tell us all about it. Yeah, and I think that's the, one of the key words with it is it's a system. It's lenses going along with a new camera because we have a new camera with a larger sensor, a large format sensor, so about a little larger than full frame in terms of imaging area, so we need lenses that'll cover it. So we have a new family of lenses that we're showing here called the Signature Prime lenses. And so these lenses will be available in 16 different focal lengths from 12 millimeters all the way up to 280. Almost all of them except for the two longest ones are going to be T1.8, so they're very high speed lenses. And what we've actually done here is we have a new mount called the LPL mount and with that mount we've kind of changed some of the dimensions in terms of flange focal and width to accommodate that bigger sensor but by shortening the flange focal depth we're actually able to make very high performance lenses that are still very fast but also very small and lightweight so you can see this is not much bigger than a master prime 114 front diameter on most of them just like a master prime you have an interesting new texture on them so it actually makes it so they're less slippery when your hands are wet and they're made out of a whole new material magnesium so instead of aluminum we're making them out of magnesium. That's a 30% weight savings. On average, these are two plus pounds lighter than their equivalent Master Prime, but yet they have almost double the image circle, which is amazing. So it actually even covers beyond the LF sensor in terms of image circle, which is fantastic. The LF itself has a large format image sensor that is created by taking two Alexa image sensors, a Super 35 Alexa image sensors, turning them on their side and putting them together. So with the 65, we took three and put them on their side to get the 65 millimeter sensor. With this, we're doing two. So so you get two thirds of the sensor in the Alexa 65 in the Alexa LF. And the cool thing about the camera is it does work and operate and is designed the same way as a normal Alexa. You have the 2000 foot built in wireless video we introduced last year, the SXTW, Wi Fi, lens control, motors, everything is the same in terms of usability and mounting and functionality as a normal Alexa. So you don't have to relearn everything, but you do have that larger sensor. So more dimensionality, very shallow depth of field with that larger format. The camera is a high speed camera goes up to 150 frames in Airy Raw, so no compromises there, which is fantastic. We didn't want to build a camera that gave you a new format but restricted you in any way. So you have that flexibility, different sensor modes, as well as ProRes or Airy Raw recording in the camera. So it's a complete solution. Again, it's a system. The idea that we have the 16 lenses that beautifully match. They have a different rendition than, for example, Master Primes or Ultras. They're a little smoother, a little creamier. These are words that some of the DPs that use the lenses kind of describe them. So they have a totally unique look, which is fantastic. And again, the idea is the system is they go together with the LPL mount, but these lenses will fit on other Airy cameras. For example, the Mini and the Amira will have an LPL mount and the Alexa Classic SXT and XT can also take this mount as well. Hopefully third-party cameras will also be in in taking this mount and having them on their body so you can use the lenses even on a third-party camera. Wow, yeah, I was reading about that, mm -hmm. uh, where this is shipping with adapters, mm -hmm. and there's uh, there's already adapters ready to go, so there's cross compatibility between cameras and lenses. Yes. On could, both sides. Yeah, you could put the, uh, so every LF will ship with a PL to LPL adapter, so you insert it, in fact, I can show it to you in a moment, and you can actually see it's just a mechanical mount that inserts into there, and you don't even have to change anything, no screws, and you go right back to PL. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that your PL lens is all of a sudden automatically gonna cover this larger format, but because there is full frame PL lenses in existence, you could use those, cover the whole sensor. But again, there's a couple different sensor modes. So there's a sensor mode that's halfway between Super 35 and the LF's large format. So there's a chance that perhaps some Super 35 lenses, especially the longer ones, might cover one of those sensor modes, the smallest one, which is LF 16 by nine, and you might be able to use some of your Super 35 lenses in that LF 16 by nine sensor mode. Ari, uh, being an innovator and an original uh, cinema camera, company has really done something innovative here by creating this whole new lens system and this mount system based on PL. 
And I think people don't realize, or some people who are new to cinematography, I realize the legacy that Arri has put together yeah, when it comes to this kind of camera. We've had the three mount. We've had the Arri standard mount, the Arri bayonet mount, the Arri PL mount that we unveiled in 1980. So we designed the PL mount. The original PL mount was 1980 at, from Arri on our film cameras. And so when we went to LPL, we didn't take it lightly. We wanted to make a better mount for a couple reasons. The reason is because the PL mount has a 52 millimeter focal flange distance, which is what you need to clear a mirror shutter. But if you don't have a mirror shutter anymore, for example, on a digital camera, you can make that distance shorter. And and if you make it shorter, you can make higher performance, faster lenses, lighter and smaller than you would with a PL mount because you have so much more distance with a PL mount that you can't make lenses quite as well in terms of size and weight and optical performance. So we shrunk it from 52 to 44 millimeters to make these lenses. We also made it bigger to accommodate a bigger sensor. So now we're going from 54 to 62, so eight millimeters wider rear so you can fit in more light to that larger format sensor. So we did have to kind of reinvent the wheel, but we wanted really quickly on set for you to be able to insert the PL adapter and go back to PL. Wow, that's outstanding. And that is uh, an innovation that is not to be taken lightly. This is this is Ari, who is established as a film camera company and kind of the de facto name you hear in film cameras.